Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today, we're looking at love. I've had cats all my life. It really helps me when I'm thinking of my stories because obviously cats can't pick up baseball bats or um, you know climb up windows or, or use their hands. So it allows me to use my imagination but also I can base it solidly in what a cat would think by having cats all my life. I, I kind of know I'm kind of inside their heads and how they work things out. Well, Butterflies is a nice Valentine's film. One of the stars of Butterflies is a fat, chubby girl cat who's a bit of a love interest for Simon's cat. Unfortunately, cats aren't really that romantic, so it's quite a contrast to the Simon's Cat um, Valentine's Day videos. Cats can actually mate with quite a few different partners, and they're not really fussy with who they choose to breed with and um, they don't really choose a mate for life like birds do. Female cats are also known as queens, and a queen can be um, only receptive to mate when she's sort of hormonally ready. Prior to that, she may well swipe her paw at a male. When a female cat is in season, she'll call quite a lot or meow, and it's a very different sort of meow to what owners are normally used to. It's quite a persistent noise. And in fact, some owners that aren't familiar with this sound may actually think their cats are in pain, but this isn't true. Mm -hmm. They'll also get themselves into what's called the lordosis pose. This is where they actually go down on their front legs and put their bottoms in the air and sometimes put their tail to the side as well. And they're kind of, like I say, getting ready for mating. They will also notice cats will be um, a lot more affectionate. They may be doing a lot of rolling around. And they'll sometimes be um, grooming their back end a lot more than usual. Cats can actually start mating as young as four months of age, which is why I recommend neutering from four months. So there are actually many health benefits to getting cats neutered. So for both female cats and male cats, you can prevent certain cancers. There's many behavioural benefits. You can cut out sexual spraying. They're much less likely to roam. They're also less likely to get into fights. One queen or female cat that is not neutered can be responsible for as many as 20,000 kittens over a five-year period if all of those kittens weren't neutered. That's a lot of kittens. So that's why here at Cats Protection, we do a lot of neutering um, because we have so many cats and kittens all looking for good homes. Females can actually mate with multiple males. One litter of kittens can have each kitten having a different father. This can therefore throw up lots of different interesting coat colours in the litter as well as different behaviours. And in fact, the trait for boldness or how outgoing the cat is comes from the father. So, here is Chloe, her little ears. Tiny little mouth, and I've given her a great big fat sort of face and a little love heart collar. The thing I love most about Chloe is her huge, great big tail. She is based on my second cat, but she was uh, such a lovely, lovely cat, had a lovely temperament um, and very affectionate. You know, as a little boy growing up, we're very close. So it was nice to get a bit of that memory into this film. This little beautiful girl cat who's a bit of a snob, but um, that's only in the Simon's Cat world, not in real life.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>